am going to ask a question that everybody's, it's on the top of the list. Of what is your idea of ascension? And we're going to go in different areas and different people. You can state your name if you feel like it. If not, then whatever. No, we're not But, not. Cur uh, you over there, lady, <laughs> what is your idea of I ascension? Have to, I, have idea of ascension. I have a couple of different ideas about it. Okay. Um, I think it's a process of discovering who we are through going within ourselves and going deep within our hearts to go to our core self, our core being, moving beyond thought, beyond emotion, to our core and emanating from that place. And as we continue to do that, we literally expand our cellular bodies and that we are now in a current opportunity to move into a new dimension, which the ascension process is not just an internal, but an even physical process. It may yes. take longer than everybody wants it to be. It may take quite a bit longer than a lot of people are expecting it to be. And that this new coming up event in 2012 is not what people expect it to be. But some people are pretty right on about what it really is, which is an expansion of consciousness. The earth is going to have its changes. It does that shit. <laughs> you know? It just does. It's probably revolting against us. And, uh, but in the process, we have an opportunity now to grow. It's almost like we have this growth spurt in humanity. And as a result, we can expand our consciousness. That's what an evolutionary process is all about. And so, come the solstice of this year, this, the winter solstice, um, there's an opportunity to really move into our new bodies, which <coughs> embrace an understanding and actual existence in a new dimension. The fourth dimension is thought, and the fifth dimension <coughs> is more about emotion. Okay. It's about Stop. making friends. Sorry. <laughs> it's about making friends with our emotions mm -hmm. and being in balance emotionally so that we can come from a place of integrity. We've mastered the thought process for the most part, and it can be a big conundrum and take us in vicious circles. But as a result, we've ignored the emotional aspect of ourselves as though it's some sort of enemy. And, That's true. That's um, really and a And that truth. it's not okay to have our feelings. Right. And that, therefore, we don't get to go move through and process and evolve with our emotional self. Right. The ascension process that I use, the Ashaya's ascension techniques, uh, allow us to go within and become friends with ourselves and let go of a, a lot of the old preconceived ideas and belief systems that we've carried around since we were children. Right. And get, like, it's like a major house cleaning. You know, it cleans out all the unnecessary things that don't serve us any longer that are still stuck there. Right. Sort of hardwired into our brain. What'd you lose? Sensors. So there's many ways to get there. There's meditation. <laughs> right. There's yoga. There's different things that we can do to assist the process. I just find the ascension techniques to be pretty direct and easy and simple. And you right. just lay there. <laughs> I mean, it's a lazy man's way to enlighten Watch it. the stars and ascend, baby. Uh huh. Then you reach a point where it's like, well, yeah, I'm here in my body. Here's my body. I'm not my body. I'm way more than my body, but I still choose to have my body. Obviously, I wouldn't be in it, <laughs> or if I didn't choose to still have it. Right. And that I obviously <laughs> haven't mastered this plane of existence yet, or I would be moving on to the next. Right. So I think that's the challenge there. And yeah, yeah Earth changes. Yeah. A daily, hourly, moment by moment. Whether there's going to be a huge cataclysm, I can't tell you. There's too much information Well, that's because it's there. not part of your ascension. <laughs> it doesn't matter. If you reach a point where it's like, well, if it happens, it happens. Right. I'm not attached to the body anymore. Therefore, I'm only here to serve others, to help them in their process. Right. Aww, and whether we continue to exist in our bodies or not, you know, I mean, for me, it's about, keeps me here is my love for others. Right. So. In the land. You're a big Mother Earth giver, too, so yeah. you can't leave Mother Earth out of this. So that's it. Okay. Yay. All right, Mr. Mr., I got a great picture of you. Tickle, tickle, tickle! Okay. <laughs> the first thing, the first thing I know is, what's the question? 
The question was, what are you? What do you think or feel is ascension, or what is? Think or feel or what other? Dimension? What do you? Yeah. Do I feel ascension, ascension, not. To, <laughs> <laughs> is this not in your book? Do we need to get your book? Well, th there's a typical Hollywood thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, I got it. A Hollywood thing. <laughs> Uh, you know, that all of a sudden, you, you got the clouds, the clouds, are, you, you go through the clouds, and <laughs> I don't know if that's the same. <laughs> or, we can go with these. Oh, okay, Mr. Spirit Man, I guess I shouldn't even be asking you this question, Mary. <laughs> well, see, like you said, we were looking at the, uh, a new dimension of the ascension, so we have to be able to trans transmit other dimensions. Right. Well, that's true. Now, how would you do that? Well, that's... Is that, is that, <laughs> is that why we're talking about it? <laughs> we're, we're, called, we're talking about a multi-dimensional being that's... Um, well, I don't know. There's just all kinds of things we could be. We... Well, I'm, well okay. Um. <laughs> Pure energy? Right, but that's uh, the question was <laughs> about ascension, Romer. <laughs> you know, that's that's actually what. Excuse me, Chris <laughs> tried to say was it's of the inner for the outer, and is a dimensional change. Is that how you feel it could be too? Yes, uh, Murray. Yeah. Well. Cool. <laughs> My tools. Yeah. As far as that's concerned, yeah, there's the um, oh, multi-dimensional aspect. It's obviously because you know they, they have to be able to move around. <laughs> okay, well that would probably be a dream state. So that would probably be like an out-of-body dream would also be called an ascension if you're not conscious in this third dimension. Would that be? A, I would. Uh, uh, that's what I would just so, say. So you're <laughs> so you, the actual feeling of the ascension? or the <laughs> Actually, I think sometimes you can feel the ascension because it is a vibrational rate, like everything else that's in existence. Mm -hmm. Well, could be. Um, yeah. We don't know how fast we have to go. As long as we're... <laughs> right? But, I mean, really, wouldn't it just mean just the increasing of a uh, vibrational frequency? As our, our or frequency would it be increases? centering into it as it's it is being night, done cosmically? Evolved. It increases our awareness because that's all consciousness. Good all vibration. is consciousness. All, all is mind. Yeah, like Therefore, the if it's all mind, then the only process yeah. is we could be, uh, knowing mind we more could be and more. Be a, it can be a multidimensional energy field that so plays in this galaxy. So, mastering the third dimension yeah, in the realm of... Thought, emotion, they could be, you know, just running doing. around, going from. I really know, think whatever. it's not taking the third dimension personally because we all ask for what it, we're living part through. Part of the process of moving forward is letting it go. Right. How do we? How do we? You know, we're still here on this dimension, but how do we move forward without letting back. go of what we already have? And she keeps coming back too. Well, you know? here we're clearing. We're clearing out all our karma. The things we're still in process with our lessons. Right, lessons. That's all it's it all, is. It's all yeah. a big school. I think it's all what we do here. Thank you. Uh huh. I would like to hear your personal opinion she wants on to ascension. Say she, she's what she does here. That's what yeah. you do here. Is your ascending? <laughs> well, I'm getting ready for it, and I want to find my way. Yeah, don't we all? Right. And this brings it to me, you know, I feel that this move I made, I love working with Mother Earth. Right, yeah, see the background and all and the sight and rain sounds rain of Mother Earth. Yeah, you know, working with the horses and brushing them and even picking up their shit, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? I just love it. I can't explain it. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're a farmer. I'm a farmer. That's right. We're just some farming today. New York farmer. That woman was on her hands and knees. Right My blood. We're going to have the beets and the radishes and the sunflower seeds. I'm sore every day, but I like it because it's healthy for me. I think sprinkle those sunflower seeds. It's really healthy for me. It's healthy for all of us to do gardening. It is.
All right, Miss Lady, who's been hiding to my side, you tell me what you think Ascension is. <laughs> she's in Sedona. No, she can pepper and talk to. It's not. It's not. <laughs> Some I bet the peppers are me, simple. No, it's not food. Okay. It's just... Oh, I had the word a minute ago. It's just um, coming into our knowledge of who and what we are more so. Um, it's... Um, we're sin. <laughs> We grow, we know us, whatever that is. Can't say because I don't know. But we come less out of the world and more into whatever else there is. Mm hmm So that's so, the So that you know, that's why we have the uh, the vision of ascending is in rising. But we're actually growing and Leaving what doesn't work behind. There you go. That's a good sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Honestly. But you're working towards that. And you're doing the helping, too. We all are, actually. So, okay. I think we got Ascension done, right? <laughs> Ascension, are we all ascended now? Did you we have gone up one more notch. Second, third, going up. Going up, <laughs> going up, going up, going up. <laughs>